the National Outstanding Young Farmer Award for Congress that we just attended is put on by the Outstanding Farmer of America Fraternity. The award started as a national award in 1951. You go through, you're nominated, you fill out an application, then if you're top 25, you fill out another application, much like Achievement Award is for young farmers and ranchers at Farm Bureau. So after you fill out the final application, they pick top 10 out of that application, and then you go to the Wards Congress, and the first day you go through and you have your 20-minute interview. From that, you're top four of the nation for the top four finalists. I mean, you had dairymen from Wisconsin. You had potato farmers from New Jersey, Pennsylvania. You had greenhouses in Alabama, cotton in Georgia. You had rice in California. And I'm sure I forgot a commodity or a state, but it's just the whole organization is so diverse. Like our reaction, like I was stunned that we were actually a finalist for it after being with the other finalists for, I think it was three days at that point, like we were together almost every minute of, of the day, getting to know them. And then as we got home and actually had time to decompress, it's almost, it's humbling. Because it's, I think it, this could be said for the group, any one of us is just trying to make our operation the best that it can be. I had one thing that was neat, um, one of the older gentlemen that had been part of the program, he was actually the one that scheduled our flights. He had won in 1970. He was a finalist in 1970. He'd been coming for years and years to it, and Mr. Jerry had said at the end they had a forum where had, what class you were in, like people were standing up from classes in the 50s and 60s on till this year's class. Now, I mean, it was just an honor to be chosen as a top four finalist. And not only for our operation, but for the state. Like, Arkansas has been represented in the past, but we're not a top contender usually in the organization. So I think from now on, we're gonna try to bring this to the forefront. Because our young farmers and ranchers are doing the same principles. I mean, every one of us are, whether but it's specific to their operation, whether they're row crop or livestock. So it's nothing that I think that set us apart in the state, but because I mean, it's common practices. But in the nation, it's different than what other areas are doing.